Okay, so now is the point in the video for me to tell you guys what the doctor said. quick because I feel like in most of my videos I look like I just don't get ready or like I'm just like I don't have my shit together so I went ahead and did my hair in half ass makeup which I actually really like it I did something more like um, subtle I guess I mean I did like a full face but I didn't do full coverage products let's just put it that way okay and then I did my hair. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of get ready a little bit. Plus, it is Saturday, so we're most likely going to be going somewhere with our friends later tonight. But right now, your girl's about to go get some food because I'm starving, I'm hungry, and I really, really want Chick-fil-A. But I also wanted to show you guys um, a bump update because it has been a while, I feel like, since I've done a bump update. So this is him. This is how he's looking right now. Um, I'm wearing a sports bra, so I'm just going to lift it up. But this is how he's looking. Um, he's definitely growing quickly. But yeah, anyways, um, let's go get some Chick-fil-A because I'm freaking hungry. Like, I'm literally starting to get lightheaded, and I'm about to be driving. So <laughs> let's hurry up. Okay. Holy shit. Texas weather is, like, the literal worst. The other day it was like 70, right? Like I was wearing shorts, like everything was fine. Even yesterday, I don't even remember what the weather was yesterday, but I know it was not this cold. And I just stepped out right now and it literally feels like, oh my God, it's 37 degrees outside right now. <sighs> With a chance of ice on the roads is what my car is telling me. That's not like super accurate because it's just my car telling me that, but holy shit, it's freaking cold. And I'm still wearing the shorts. I didn't go back inside and change. I'm still wearing shorts. But at least I'm wearing a jacket. Tell me you're pregnant without telling me you're pregnant. I'm literally eating 
strawberry pop tarts because I'm starting to like shake bef like literally on my way to get food and I have no regrets. So I have been craving pretty much anything strawberry, but I haven't been craving actual strawberries. So fun fact, I actually hate strawberries. Um, I don't like the texture of them, I guess. Like I don't like the seeds in them, but I love strawberry flavored things. So I've been tearing up these strawberry Pop-Tarts. Um, I've been drinking these drinks. This is the Clear American Strawberry they're literally just sparkling water. I have been chugging these things. They taste like Fanta to me. Strawberry Fanta, love it. Strawberry Mini Wheats and Fruity Pebbles. I don't know if Fruity Pebbles are qualified as like strawberry, but yeah. Oh, and strawberry cream cheese. Every morning, my favorite thing to eat is a bagel with um, strawberry cream cheese on it. Oh my God. So if it wasn't this cold, I'd probably be getting a strawberry milkshake from Chick-fil-A, but yeah, it's cold as shit. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna drive to Chick-fil-A because I'm freaking hungry and I'm about to like lose my shit. So, okay, I'll see you guys at Chick-fil-A. I finally got my food. That was literally the longest I've ever waited at Chick-fil-A. And I'm disappointed, but it's okay. I still got my food. I got french fries. I got a spicy deluxe with no tomatoes because tomatoes are disgusting and then i used my points and i got a medium mac and cheese for free or small i don't know but i got mac and cheese and it was free so i'm happy mm. beautiful beautiful i actually haven't really been able to eat like mac and cheese or like lasagna or any like dairy really even like drinking like I always drink like almond milk I mean oat milk and stuff like that but I can't even have like pizza or mac and cheese or anything like that because it breaks me out so bad and for the past like two days or three days or something um I ran out of my oat milk creamer so I've been using Anthony's creamer, which you guys seen like whenever I was making my coffee, it's the delight one. And I mix it with that other one because the other one is disgusting. It's an oat milk, but it is, I just don't like how it tastes, but I don't want to waste it. So I have to use some of that. And then I use some of the delight one. And if I use it like for more than like two days, my face will completely spaz out and just break out really bad. And it's the absolute worst. This looks so fucking good. Oh my God. Wow, just wow. Baby boy's in there kicking now. I think he likes the Chick-fil-A. We done woke him up. Probably the spiciness probably woke him up. Wow, that just made me like instantly sleepy. I can't eat anymore. I'm done. I tap. I've done all the damage I can do. I am saving my mac and cheese and my fries for later though. We don't waste shit around here. Oh, hi, baby. Oh. Oh. We are back home. Finally. I feel like that took so long, even though I literally only went to Chick-fil-A. Okay, so now is the point in the video for me to tell you guys what the doctor said. So, um, we went to the doctor yesterday, and uh, it was yesterday morning, and we went stupid early. I was gonna film it, but I was literally zombified. Like, if you would have seen me, you would have thought it was like The Walking Dead. It was absolutely horrendous. Um, I'm not a morning person, okay? If it's anything before 9.30, count me out. I'm not here for it. I don't want to do it. Like, brunch, not in my, uh-uh, nope. Nope. Anyways, so we went to the doctor and it was um, the big appointment, meaning it was the appointment where they really go in depth. It's So usually whenever I show up to a appointment, they just check the heartbeat, they ask if I have any questions, um, if there's anything that I'm like concerned about or anything like that, um, and then that's literally it. The entire appointment is usually only like 15 to 20 minutes. 
um, but this time they went a lot more in depth and I got another sonogram done. So the last time that I got a sonogram done was whenever I first went to the doctor to confirm my pregnancy pretty much. Um, and I was only nine weeks pregnant. So he was just like a little bean, like you couldn't even tell that it was a baby. So yeah, so this time we were super, super excited because now I am currently 23 weeks. Tomorrow I will be 23 weeks pregnant. Um, so yeah, we were super excited because now whenever we see him, like, you know, it's going to be a baby. Like, I mean, it was a baby before, but like now you can actually see his head and his nose and like all that stuff. So we were super, super excited. Um, so whenever we get there, they do like the normal checkup, whatever. And then they send us to this other, um, little suite or whatever. And, um, uh, that was like the actual sonogram area. So it's kind of a good thing I did it film because the lady was going so fast, which is not a bad thing, like at all. Um, but she, she was going like really fast the whole time and she was like, oh, this is a leg. This is another leg. Yep, it's definitely a boy. Oh, the, you know, this is his head. This is his spine. This is a heartbeat, blah, blah, blah. And she just kept going and going. And I could have filmed it, most likely. I don't know if they allow filming there. I wasn't going to test it, but I also didn't want to bother Anthony because uh, he said he would film it, but I wanted him to enjoy the moment because this is our first pregnancy. And I wanted him to like actually be able to see the baby and the baby was moving a lot. I may or may not have eaten some muffins before going. That way he would have a little sugar rush. So she was doing all the checkups. She said that everything checked out perfectly fine. Um, he actually is big for his age, I guess, or like for how far along I am. Uh, she said that he's pretty big. Um, he's in the 75 percentile. So he is, so how she described that is basically out of 100 babies, he is the 75th biggest baby. Um, and he's weighing a week ahead or he's measuring a week ahead or something like that. I don't really know all the terms. I don't really know how they do all the measurements and stuff like that. But basically what they told us is that he's a big baby. Um, so I'm a little scared for that, but I feel like it's not like anything I can't handle, but still, so that's a little terrifying. That's pretty much it. Um, I'll insert a picture of the little sonogram. Uh, she gives a whole bunch of pictures and a video, but I'm just gonna show you guys like one because they're literally like other stuff you don't want to see like she literally showed us like his leg and his spine and all this other stuff that you guys are going to be interested in but i want to show you guys this one picture because he has a cute little button nose and you can see his big old noggin and i'm just so excited like it's really starting to hit me now like i'm about to be somebody's mama i'm about to be somebody's mother a whole mom and i've always been like the mom of the group and like the mom of like, you know, the siblings and all that stuff. Like it's, I'm just a super like caring person or like nurturing person. I don't know how to describe it, but like I love to take care of people and I love to like, I don't know. Like whenever people come over and they get too drunk, I'm like, here's the Gatorade. Do you need any food? Here's a blanket. Here's a pillow. Like, do you need anything? So I've just always been like that. And I, my entire life have always wanted to be a mom. And so now that Anthony and I are finally pregnant, like the excitement is like taking over my body like i literally every single day when anthony comes home i'm like hey i'm pregnant i'm having your kid you know and i'm like it's just so surreal and also we just got a entertainment center technically but i'm gonna turn it into a dresser for baby's room um i'm a super big diyer i love to diy stuff and anthony literally does remodeling for a living like all he does is build shit so it's just like how we are and like like anthony and i's favorite hobby to do whenever we first got together is we would go in the garage and we would just be like what can we build like we have you know this wood over here we have you know this over here that's broken or whatever and we would see like what we can fix or what we can build like we just love to do that so i told him that for baby's dresser instead of going and spending like a shit ton of money like three or four hundred dollars on a dresser i was like let's find one on facebook marketplace and i'll just redo it like i'll paint it i'll sand it like i don't care i i, I love to do that kind of stuff anyways so with that being said we went on um facebook marketplace and i bought an entertainment center for like 50 bucks and i'm gonna redo that and i feel like now that i'm actually buying stuff for baby it's making it like that much more real and then seeing his sonogram and seeing his big old head in there and like now i'm able to like really feel him kick and like feel him moving around and 
you know, all this stuff. It's like crazy to me because I'm like, there's literally a whole child inside of my stomach. Like I've always seen pregnant women, of course, and I'm like, okay, she's pregnant, it's normal, cool. You know, this is part of life. But now that it's me, I'm like, this shit is crazy to think about. Like there's a human growing inside of me that will one day grow up and be my size. That's, in, that's crazy to me. I just, I'm still like, it's our, I'm already like five months pregnant and it's still like registering in my head that I'm actually pregnant and I feel like it's not gonna like completely register until he's here. Which by the way, I'm not thinking about um, how he's gonna get here because the whole labor process terrifies me, especially since I know he's gonna be a big baby. I'm terrified. So in my head, mentally, a little birdie is going to come and drop him off on my doorstep and that's it okay obviously i know that's not going to happen but i'm that's what i'm going to envision until the day comes where i actually have to deliver him and then i will stress but i don't want to stress until i have to because i am an overthinker and i will freak out and i will have an anxiety attack and i'm not trying to do all that so in my head mentally a little bird is going to come and drop him off on my doorstep okay okay What's wrong, my love? What? <laughs> Look at it. What, my love? What, baby girl? You just want attention, huh? Yeah, you just want to... Oh, stretch, mama. But, yeah, everything is getting so real now. The next steps are to plan my baby shower and my maternity photo shoot. But, anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.